Hi guys, this is the Alley Show, and um, I just wanted to come at you guys with a little bit of a life update. Plus, where have I been? Okay, I tried to give you a life update in a video that failed to upload. Um, which is a what's in my purse. That video is coming soon. Um, but I just wanted to come over here, you know, sip some coffee and have a little chit chat with you guys. I'm in my pajamas. My hair is crazy, so excuse that. But I just wanted to come on here and be as real as I can be with you guys. Um, and telling you guys where I have been as well as as much as I can of what's going on in my life. Um, why I haven't been filming so much. So, um, without further ado, let me go shut my door and snag my tripod. And let's get right into it. I can't. Um, leave my door shut too long because it's cold and um, I need the heat coming from outside of my room. So. <clears throat> so I'm back in my room. My door is shut. Let me just find and snag Gab. If I can find it, I'll use my tripod, guys. If I can't, I'll just hold you guys. I found it. Okay? So, here's my tripod. I have the Yubi's Eyes tripod. Um, it also can double up as a selfie stick. <coughs> so, while I'm um, unbagging this and getting it set up for use... Um, I'm sorry you guys aren't seeing me. I just have to have two hands to hold to set up the tripod and everything. And, um, whoa. I almost took my knob completely off of there. Um, but, as you guys know, I have a doll channel, okay? If you watch me, if you've been watching me for a minute, you'll know that I have a doll channel. Okay, I have a technology YouTube channel. And I've been focusing on trying to make more videos for those because you guys, you guys who watch the Alley Show get to see all of me. And those channels don't really... So I have been basically trying to spend more, a little bit more time with my dolls. And get this rising up to an appropriate level. But you guys, you know, get to see all of me. So I, I took a brief little hiatus. I've got some videos pre-filmed that I'm going to be uploading for you guys. Um, <clears throat> but I had to think of me and take a brief hiatus um as of yet i'm not monetized okay i'm gonna actually do it this way as of right now i'm not monetized for making these videos okay youtube ain't paying me to do none of this content they haven't even offered to monetize me as of yet so i'm gonna put you guys on here okay excuse it if the camera view spins at all it's just that i'm trying to figure out how to get this tripod to come in clutch which it ain't because i can't seem to get my phone to lock into it there it goes. It's starting to finally try to catch it. No, whoop. 
hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure you guys are still seeing me. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, um, let's just see here. I'm gonna have to hold this really steadily. I'm sorry you guys are seeing probably a mess, but what can you do? You work with what you got. And instead of trying to catch on it, it's trying to push it off, so. It's finally coming in clutch, you guys. It's finally. Okay, so now I gotta switch it down in portrait mode, which is kinda hard working from on a right-handed tripod when you're a lefty. So, I'm gonna kinda face the tripod facing me so that you guys can see me still. And then I'm going to angle you guys up. So that you guys can see me just as good and clear as I need to be seen. All right. Whoops. Hold on. <laughs> I need to go ahead and because you guys are completely upside down. So I need to go ahead and loosen you guys up. There we go. Well, tighten you guys up just so you can, because I put you guys on originally upside down. There we go. There we go. Sorry about the tripod hiccup, guys. Um, I pray to God that opening doesn't fly off and hit me in the facials. Sorry about if I have any breakouts um, on me. Let me raise you guys up so you might have a better hope of seeing my face. So, as I said, okay, let me see. There we go. I'm just going to sit back normal now. Can you? No, you can only see my eyeballs. <laughs> Lovely, nice. There you go. Now, hopefully, you can get a full head shot in there. Um, but where have I been? Excuse me. I have been sick. Um, for the past. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Well, since the end of October, honestly. Um, <laughs> I have had, oh goodness, excuse me, now that I'm just now trying to get deep into with the hiccup and starts. Lovely. Um, so you guys might be walking with me here momentarily to go chug some water. Um, but as I was saying, um, how So, as I was saying, I've been sick. Like, all the month of November. All last month. Today is the best that I've felt in a long, long time. I put up a video. If you guys watched my highlighter unboxing, I was in the thick of it with my sickness then. Um, but... It was, um, I still have a little bit of a cough and I still sound a little bit nasally as you guys can hear. It's 22 degree weather or so where I live. So, <clears throat> just took a sip of coffee. Whoa, don't want to spill my coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of low energy, so coffee is my best friend right now. Um, but... As I said, I've been sick. I've been just trying to focus on getting better because I don't want to come on camera for you guys a whole bunch being sick. No, as um, House of Hughes says, I don't want to be a highlight reel. But um, at the same time, I 
I'm not gonna get on camera when I'm so sick I can barely hold my head up. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I, I know this is not a religious-based channel, a religion-based channel, but I have a little bit of a testimonial that I want to share for you guys. If you guys didn't know this about me, I'm a very faithful, very God-believing, God-loving woman. Okay? And this, this might bring me to tears, just to warn you guys. Um, but there was one night when I was in the thick of it. I was coughing, like, pretty much nonstop. I could not get my breath. <clears throat> and I prayed to God. I said, you know, I can't remember verbatim what I said, but I said something along the lines of, Lord, I'm desperate. I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm suffering. I can't get my breath. So if you don't help me, why don't you call me home? And I gave him either two, I gave him one of two choices. Either help me, help me get my breath, help me cough that crap up and breathe, or call me home. As in, take me off the earth. You see, I'm still sitting here, right? He helped me. Um, so... That, it didn't bring me to tears, but I just, ever since that day, I've been trying to read the Bible. I don't read it every day. Um, I've been trying to, you know, basically listen to more gospel music. Yes, I still listen to secular music, which is music that's not gospel. As long as you don't let the music influence your mentality, influence your way of acting, um, you're fine. You know, as long as you don't let the music make you do what it talks about doing. But anyway, this is not a religious rant. This is a life update. Um, and so, I... Basically, I've been trying to spend more time with my dolls, trying to talk to my friend a little bit more, spend a little bit more time with family, and a little bit less time behind the camera. And I honestly, it feels good to be back. I... I turn 26 in a couple of days and I'm just grateful to be alive and because of my CP, which if you watch my special needs journey, uh, you'll know what I mean. Um, but because of my cerebral palsy, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be, um, basically walking sitting here talking to you guys right now sitting up on my own that my legs aren't spastic you know I'm grateful for all those things I mean yeah I'm heavy because my disability doesn't necessarily let me exercise like I'd need to um and I was overfed as a kid, but, um, so it's, I'm just grateful to be alive. You know, if you watch House of Hughes, little Beckham, he, he's three years old. That baby is very much alive, but he, he's just now doing baby babbles. And he's three. He's still in diapers and he's three. He, his CP is so severe that he, his legs are spastic. 
his mom is still having to feed him baby food packets. And I'm so glad that I'm not like that. By the way, um, side note, uh, coffee creamer recommendation. If you guys like, um, peppermint and you guys like mocha, um, Coffee Mate makes a liquid creamer. It's peppermint mocha. <laughs> um, it's a seasonal flavor. It's only around for the holidays. So, if you guys can find it, I would so recommend you picking it up. Because it is literally such a good coffee flavor. Um, and I would just totally recommend. So, um, but back to the subject at hand. Um... I was just, for so many weeks, I was so sick, I couldn't stand myself. Um, but thanks to Hall's Cough Drops and Allegra, when I was at the tail end of my sickness, I mean, I tried the little nighttime antihistamines that make you sleep. I tried that, I tried NyQuil, nothing worked. But my dad gave me a pack of Hall's Cough Drops and I took, um... Two drops every two hours. And that helped me. That helped me. That and the Allegra. Um, so now, I mean, as I said, I'm a little nasally, but I'm not nearly as bad as I was. I'm a little low energy, like by the time midnight rolls around now, I'm ready to crash. When before, I could easily stay up till 2, 3, 4 a.m. But, you know, that's why you haven't, you guys haven't been seeing as many videos from me. You know, I'm still here. I haven't kicked the bucket on you guys. I just, I need, I needed some time to focus on getting better. I looked back at that that um highlighter unboxing and it made me want to cringe. Like that I'm thinking of taking that video down because I was so sick in that video and I was trying so hard to push through. I was not doing well. Like I wasn't hospital level sick, but I was bad cold, minor flu sick. Um, and it, it, it was awful. You know, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel the best. Um, in case you guys are wondering, why is the backdrop different? Why am I up against my wall? Why is there no desk in here? I can't go into detail about that. That's private. But there will no longer be a desk in this room. So, um, that's a private issue that me and my family are facing. And I'm not going to go into detail about what that is. Um... Let's just say, um, we're having to basically, for one, that desk was old and outdated from back when my nephew was in high school. And for two, I didn't like it. And for three, I wanted to declutter and... I'm not going to go into detail about everything that, as you guys saw, I got a new bed too, but, um, yeah, there's a reason why I had to get rid of the desk, which again, I'm not going to say, other than the fact that I didn't like it and it was old and outdated. <laughs> um, so... 
that's um that's pretty much how my life is going um it's had its ups and downs highs and lows however you want to say that um my aunt um, my Aunt Eleanor, um, if you were friends with her on Facebook, Mary Oxendine, she passed away the Saturday before Thanksgiving, and I haven't even given, given myself time to grieve over her, you know, so I've had that battling against me. My biological mom died two years ago, a year or two ago. I can't remember exactly when it was she died. Um, and so I, I've, I've suffered a lot of loss in my life. And it's one thing, okay, to lose a pet, okay, which I have experienced. I watched my little kitten, Ginger, die in my arms because the dog got a hold of him and my biological mom and my stepdad, their pit bull got a hold of her and she's a three week old kitten, cute as a button and she got a hold of him and or the dog got a hold of him and shook him to death and he meowed because he was in pain and died right there in my arms. Can you imagine? I cried. I did, I cried. And then I lost the dog Hulk to Parvo. Maverick, uh, my brother Eli, his dog, he almost died of Parvo, but he was taken to the vet in time and got saved. If you notice symptoms in your dog, such as vomiting, diarrhea, um, and I'm not talking just runny poo, I'm talking Diarrhea so loud that you can hear it squirting out of their butt like water. And it's red and like, or they're, you know, they're vomiting and it's weird. Bleach your house and take them to the vet immediately. Do not wait. Because if you wait longer than a day to take them to a vet... It's gonna be too late, you're gonna lose them. So don't wait. You know, Hulk, he got taken to the vet, okay? But by the time, by the time he got there, the, doc, the vet basically said, take him home, there's nothing we can do for him. And he was brought home and he was laid in a tote and he died right there in the tote. And then later on that day, Maverick started showing symptoms and he got taken to the vet and he was able to be saved. And you know, that that's just, so if you see those symptoms, the vomiting, the diarrhea, the lethargy, if you see those symptoms in your dog, do not wait. Get them to the animal ER immediately and get them treated. Yes, it will cost you a lot, but if you find a good vet, they will let you make payments on that baby. Do not wait and let them die.
But yeah, you know, I'm sorry about that little rant and that little story time there. But, you know, it was something that was hard for me. You know, for all these years, I, I was mad because my dog died. And Eli's dog lived. He still has his dog to this day. More than five years later, he still has his dog. And my, and my dog died because he was taken to the vet too late. So, um, but anyways, that's my little life update. I thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, or night, depending on what time this gets uploaded. Please click like, share, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.